Hi everybody, I'm Dr. Lindsay Fisher from Total Performance Physical Therapy. Um, I wanted to talk to you guys today about hydration and how important it is for you. Um, it's extra hot out there over this, um, the next couple months it will continue to be extra hot. So I wanna talk why hydration is so important um, and also for muscle recovery, for uh, muscle function. So if you're going out and working out, um, but even if you're not, if you're just around your house, it's extra, extra hot. So it's so important that you're fulfilling your body or filling your body back with water um, and various things. So the question I always ask my patients when they come in, when they're in pain, chronic pain, full body pain, leg cramps, anything, is how much water are you drinking? That is always a question I will ask because most people out there are not getting enough hydration or not getting enough water. Um, some people will be like, oh yeah, I drink a glass with breakfast and dinner. That is not nearly enough. Um, so I wanted to talk today about how much is enough why it's so important, tips for making sure you're drinking more water. Um, so often people also tell me that they drink tea, they drink coffee, they drink soda. It's okay, you can have those, that's fine. However, realize that those are actually diuretics. They're gonna make you more dehydrated. If you're only drinking tea throughout the day, that is not the same as drinking water. So when you get asked the question, are you drinking enough water? Tea and coffee and soda, those, are, those don't count. So we're talking about strict water intake that you're, you're fulfilling or you're giving your body back that, that fluid that it needs. Um, so one thing I was told always growing up, which I truly believe in, is if you are thirsty, you are already dehydrated. So you cannot wait until you're thirsty to drink. You need to be drinking throughout the day. Um, I carry this bottle with me. It's either 32 or 36 ounces. I carry this with me all day and I'm constantly drinking it. If I'm thirsty and I need a drink, it means I haven't been drinking enough yet. You have to fulfill or you have to um, replenish that throughout the day even before you are thirsty. Um, sometimes when people get hungry, they're actually dehydrated as well. So try grabbing a glass of water, drink that first um, rather than grabbing a snack. And if you're still hungry after, you can grab that snack and eat it. Um, so why is hydration so important? Our bodies are made up of over 60% of water. Um, it's important for our organs to function. It's important for our muscles to function. Um, it can help with weight loss. It helps our skin and our nails and our hair. Um, it helps reduce our recovery time. So if you do go out and work out, if you don't drink water, you're gonna be sore longer. You might have two, three, four days of soreness, but if you're putting that water back into your body and you're hydrating, you will recover quicker and your muscles will feel better in the long run. Um, it lubricates our joints. So if you have arthritis, if you have back pain, if you have different things, it is lubricating our joints. Our joints need water. And if you don't give them that water, they're gonna be a lot stiffer. So if you just, you know, if you simply t um, drink throughout the day, you're gonna feel a lot looser as you move those elbows, those knees, that back. So it, it lubricates the joints. Um, and it also, I, I was talking about recovery, it helps us recover quicker. It actually helps you perform better. So if you are going for a workout, a walk, a bike ride, you have more, more water in your body, more hydration, you are going to perform better. Um, so very, very important for our body, and I can't stress it enough to drink water throughout the day. Signs of dehydration. Um, if you go to the bathroom, the darker your urine is, the more dehydrated you are. Um, the, if you pee and it's clear, you're, you're pretty good, you're hydrated. If there's that yellow and all the way to brown, that's not a good sign. That means you're dehydrated, you need to drink a lot more. Um, feeling dizzy, feeling lightheaded, those are all signs of dehydration. Um, increased heart rate, sometimes people feel their heart rate is very rapid. Sometimes that means you are dehydrated. So if you can replenish that, you actually can bring down that heart rate. Um, fainting obviously is a sign of dehydration. Hopefully it doesn't get to that point. But lightheadedness, especially if you're outside in the 90 degree heat and you start to get lightheaded and feel bad, you're probably dehydrated to get some water and get it in you, okay? Um, so I always get questioned, how much should I drink? I put on the bottom of here, start with eight glasses. So an eight ounce glass, eight of those a day. Now, in my opinion, that's not enough but that's somewhere to start. It is hard if you aren't used to drinking water throughout the day. I completely understand it's hard to pick up that bottle of water or that cup of water and drink it, drink it. People don't like it usually, but start with eight glasses. So um, what I usually tell people though is 
half your body weight in water ounces per day. So if you weigh 150 pounds, you need to be drinking 75 ounces of water. That's my general rule. Um, there's various things out there, but I guarantee you will feel better. You will have less pain. Your muscles will feel better. You'll be able to function better throughout the day. So drink half your body weight in water, and that's your goal. You can go over that. Try not to go under that. Um, so that's my challenge to you. But if, it, if you're new to it, like I said, start with eight eight ounce glasses of water and, and spread them out throughout the day. Don't chug them all at once. You won't feel very good. Um, you'll have to go to the bathroom a lot. Spread them out throughout the day and it will become easier. The first couple days will be tough. So tips for drinking more water. These are my easy tips to give you. So carry a water bottle. I cannot stress that enough. You will not drink. I drink more while I'm at work because I carry this with me while I'm at work at all times. When I'm at home on weekends, I sometimes forget to have a bottle with me and I notice I struggle to drink enough water. So definitely get a bottle. It doesn't have to be like this. Give me any type of water bottle. You can get a plastic 16 ounce water bottle. That's fine too. Fill that throughout the day. You will drink more if you can carry that bottle of water with you. So that's number one. Number two, set a timer. Everyone carries their phones on them. Set a timer every hour, have it go off. Grab a uh, glass, drink it, don't chug it, but drink it slowly. Um, but set a timer to do it. It's so important to do. After a couple days of setting that timer, you will it will become more of a habit and you'll be able to do it without that timer, but I highly recommend doing that to start. Um, skip the soda, juice, alcohol. Um, I will put tea and coffee in there too. I'm a coffee drinker, I drink it every morning, it's fine but I make sure I'm replenishing with, with plenty of water on top of that. So those things are fine in moderation, but making sure you, you get the plenty of water and don't include those in your water count. Um, add fruit. If you hate the taste of water, I get that a lot. They're like, oh, it's so boring. Add some fruit, cut up some lemons, cut up whatever it is, um, any type of berries, cut up cucumbers, whatever it is that'll get you to drink that water, the better it's gonna be. And then the last thing is use electrolytes. That's definitely if you are working out. Um, not only does your body need water, it also needs electrolytes. So electrolytes can be in multiple things. Um, you know, there you can drink the occasional Gatorade that has electrolytes in it, coconut water, um, various things. There's plenty of things out there. Um, but occasionally, I wouldn't do the eight glasses of the things with the electrolytes. However, you may need to replenish that as well if you're working out a lot. So. That is the quick tip on hydration for today. Um, I can't stress enough in this heat. Even if you aren't working out, it doesn't matter. You still need to drink water. Doesn't just mean if you go out and run or you go on a long walk. If you're walking around your house, if you're outside doing yard work, whatever it is, you have to drink water throughout the day. So um, that is it. I will see you next week and have a good day.